F-A-B, standing by. F-A-B. 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 News flash. A shootout near the Clifton Hill Railway Station has seen several people shot. The police helicopter fired on and forced into an emergency landing. Details are still sketchy, but initial reports say one person, possibly two, have been shot dead and several have been wounded. Police have one man in custody and have recovered several firearms, but are still in the area looking for another man believed to be armed. Eyewitness news crews are also at the scene. We'll have further details as soon as possible. Repeating, a major shootout with police in the Clifton Hill area where at least one life may have been lost. Until more details are known, this is Jim Brown from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Hello again, Jim Brown in the Eyewitness Newsroom and more in that shootout in Clifton Hill tonight. We've been able to confirm that several people have been shot, perhaps up to seven. The police helicopter has been forced down into an emergency landing by gunfire. Detectives say they've captured a gunman and are now combing the area around the Clifton Hill Railway Station and surrounding suburbs for a second gunman. Just one moment, more details to hand now. And from our police reporter on the scene, Rex Hoare says he's seen two bodies lying in the street. One, a motorcyclist apparently shot off his bike and another man shot dead near his car. And in another message that more bodies are being found in the area. A fleet of ambulances rushing injured victims to the city hospital emergency wards. Just repeating, it appears now at least two are dead in the Clifton Hill shootout and at least five others injured. Our crews are still at the scene and will bring you more details as soon as they come to hand. This is Jim Brown in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Hello again, Jim Brown from the Eyewitness Newsroom and the Clifton Hill shootout and the toll is now six dead. Repeating, six people shot to death and police say up to 12 people have been injured. Detectives are searching for at least two gunmen wearing army style clothing, still on the run, armed and dangerous. A third man has been captured and is now in police custody. During the shootout opposite the Clifton Hill Railway Station in Hoddle Street and the surrounding area, the police helicopter was hit by gunfire and forced into an emergency landing. Police reporter Rex Hoare on the scene says one of the victims was shot off his motorcycle as he rode through the area and another man was killed beside his motor car. Just repeating, the toll is six dead in the Clifton Hill shootout with at least 12 people injured. Fleets of ambulances are rushing victims to city hospitals, cas casualty wards and again we have reporters and cameras at the scene and will provide more details as soon as possible. This is Jim Brown in the Eyewitness Newsroom. Good evening, Jim Brown again with the latest details on the Clifton Hill shootings. And at least five people are now dead and another is reported to have died. All shot to death by gunmen with automatic weapons and shotguns. The killers are reported by police to be wearing army style Rambo gear. At least another 12 people have been injured and rushed to city hospital emergency wards by a fleet of ambulances. Bodies of the victims and cars with their windows shot out have littered Hoddle Street near the Clifton Hill railway station. Police say they've captured one gunman and, and an arms cache, and at least two others are on the loose in the surrounding suburbs. A sighting has just been reported at a block of Housing Commission flats in Northcote. A massive police squad has been thrown into the manhunt, and we've got the first pictures from the scene due back on the station shortly, and we'll bring you a full report as soon as possible on the Clifton Hill shootout. See you then.